What's good everyone, Michael and Jimmy here coming to you from CES 2018 and we just saw what NVIDIA is showing off in their suite. And we saw a very big monitor display. Tell us what, what it is, Jimmy. Yeah, sure. So NVIDIA calls it the BFG display. Uh, technically it stands for Big Format Gaming Display, but we all know that it stands for Big F***ing Gaming Display. And they consider it a, more of a gaming display as opposed to a TV because even though it looks like a TV and it's 65 inches, but what separates it is that it doesn't actually have a TV tuner. But what it does have are some amazing specs. So it's 4K, 120 Hz, supports HDR, G-Sync, has a very fast response time that's more akin to like a typical gaming monitor, like G-Sync gaming monitor. And I think most gaming monitors are around like 5 milliseconds or below. Mm -hmm. Most TVs are around 20 to 25 milliseconds. So gaming on a large screen TV isn't a really good experience, whereas it is here. I mean, what did you think about it? You saw it in action. Yeah, we saw it in action. They were uh, playing Destiny 2 on PC off of this display. And like you mentioned, that the response times of regular TVs aren't exactly like the best. Uh, at least compared to what we see in gaming monitors. So what we have here is all of the things that you would want out of a gaming monitor, like the response time refresh rate, and on top of that we get HDR. So you pack all those specs into like a 65 inch TV, and then what you get is essentially an enlarged gaming monitor. You know, when I hook up my PC to my TV, I do notice ghosting, sometimes input lag, and you know, that's fine with a lot of other games, um, like single player games that I play, but if I'm playing like uh, competitive shooters, especially like for me, I play a lot of Counter-Strike, you know, you want to make sure that all your monitor specs are on point. And here, you know, now we can actually play it on a big screen, you know, without sacrificing the faster features that we get out of a typical gaming monitor. Yeah, it's also, a, it has a thousand nits of brightness, so it can get like really bright. We're playing, uh, we're seeing somebody play Destiny and they're like some light shafts that are like yep. really bright. But it is also HDR, which means they get really deep black levels as well. It's shaping up to be an awesome, super large gaming monitor. Where do you think people will actually use it? Because it is supposed to be a gaming monitor, but it's yeah. so large. Yeah, I have a couple thoughts on that. You know, obviously being 65 inches, it's something you want to put in a living room or a space that you have as a home theater. The uh, thing is also, you know, oh, it's not a TV, but it does have built-in NVIDIA Shield in it. So you get essentially that streaming service that most smart TVs have. So you can connect to whatever, you know, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, video right there and you can also like stream games off of that if you wanted to and then you know it also has an ethernet port too so it doesn't have to rely on a wireless signal all the time and that is what we see out of TVs now is that we're not subscribing to cable we're looking at these streaming services and then you know that's built in TV like other smart TVs here gotcha and it also does support you know HDMI and DisplayPort so you can hook up like your Xbox or PlayStation to it as well so um, pricing is probably going to be really expensive. Yeah. NVIDIA is saying it's about the same as like a really high-end like 4K a TV with like a really high refresh rate. And then um, for release date, you know, NVIDIA is targeting, you know, summer. And also I should mention that, you know, NVIDIA is creating the standard here. They're not actually manufacturing um, the displays. It's actually going to be manufactured by HP, um, Acer, and ASUS. So that was one of the biggest things that we saw so far at CES. Stay tuned to GameSpot.com for all of our coverage. Thanks for watching.